Hey guys, welcome to this new tutorial. Today we are going to dive into an essential topic for clean and maintainable code. And you've guessed it, we are going to talk about dependency injection. Especially, we'll be implementing a simple yet powerful DI container in Swift. Dependency injection is a technique that helps us decouple components and manage dependencies in our code. And a DI container is like a central hub that stores and manages these dependencies. Before implementing this DI container, let's start by understanding the basic uh, structure of it. It typically consists of three key components. We have the registration, where you register your services uh, by specifying how to create them and uh, manage instances of those uh, services. We have the resolution phase, uh, which is the process uh, of obtaining an instance of an uh, already registered uh, service from uh, the container. And we have the scope, which defines the lifetime uh, of a service. So uh, for this tutorial, we are going to focus uh, especially on uh, the registration and the resolution. So now let's start uh, by implementing uh, this container. We are going to first see uh, the API I want to have as a container. So uh, I want uh, to have two main uh, functions. Okay, and uh, we have this container which will be a, a, a singleton. I think that uh, it is uh, totally fine to have it as a singleton since we won't need it to instantiate it uh, multiple times. So uh, we have here the container that is going to bind an object and uh, it will receive a closure uh, with a resolver that will help us uh, register this uh, object. And once we want to uh, retrieve the object, we just call uh, the resolve with uh, this object that is going to give us an instance of the object. So we uh, obviously we don't have this uh, container class. Uh, let's implement it. So we have here a class, uh, a container class, and uh, it should be a singleton, right? And uh, yeah, so uh, let's make uh, its initializer private and uh, by adding a shared property, right? Uh, this is a typical implementation of a singleton in Swift. Now we need this uh, bind method, right? Uh, let's see how to implement it. So first, before the binding, we need uh, a property that will going to uh, store all the registration uh, that we are going to, to make. So for the registration phase, we are going to uh, just create uh, a bind method uh, that accepts a generic. So we can uh, register any type of um, object, right? So we need here a generic. So it is going to accept the service as the generic. And we also need a resolver, which is a closure that is going to uh, help us register uh, this service, right? So uh, here for the key, uh, we just extract the string from uh, the object we want to register, and uh, here we we register it in this service dictionary, right? And uh, after that, we need a resolve method, right? Let's implement it. So for the resolve, uh, it is quite simple. Uh, we are going to uh, uh, it is going to accept the type, the service we want to uh, retrieve from uh, this container, right? We are going to create the key from uh, this uh, service like we did in the bind uh, method. And here we try to see if uh, this key exists in this dictionary. So if the service doesn't exist, we fatal error, right? Um, you can uh, choose to uh, return an optional or uh, to throw an error, it is up to you. But uh, for me, I want to uh, know this uh, error as soon as possible, and I don't want to deal with uh, optional or uh, throwing code, right? So I need to uh, register all my services before uh, resolving them, right? So uh, this is the basic uh, functionality of uh, our container. So uh, it consists of just two methods, a bind and a resolve method. Now it's time to uh, test this uh, container. I'm going to create some protocols, right? So uh, I basically uh, have these two protocols, uh, authenticator and an uh, analytic uh, protocol, right? Uh, with a user struct. 
and uh, let's add the default implementation of these protocols. So we have a default authenticator protocol, which returns here uh, a step a value to true and a default analytics uh, that is just going to print this info. Uh, let's add now a view model that is going to use uh, those two uh, protocols, an the analytics and uh, the authenticator, right? So uh, with a login uh, method that is going to log the user and based on the result of this uh, authentication, it is going to, uh, um, to log uh, this info. Okay, so what we need to do now is uh, to bind these uh, uh, is to bind these protocols, right? So I'm going to do it, right? So uh, we are going to use a container in order to bind the authenticator, okay? So uh, for the binding here, we return the default authenticator, and for the binding of the analytics, we return the analytics, okay? So here you see that uh, we don't need the uh, resolver but now let's try to uh, to bind a login view model right and uh, to do so we are indeed going to need uh, this resolver because we need uh, to resolve the authenticator here that we registered uh, here and we need to uh, resolve an analytics as well that we uh, just uh, bind here right uh, now that's done let's um, test this right we are going to create a view model okay by uh, just resolving it since uh, we already uh, bind it here right and uh, we call this uh, login uh, method from this view model with a username of eprimer and a password of fuba so pause the video and uh, tell me uh, what will be uh, the result of this uh, login so uh, just to recap here for the default authenticator we return true and uh, for this uh, login method if uh, the result is true it is going to print this otherwise it is going to print that right so let's uh, test this we have some errors I think that uh, we, f we first need to uh, remove this it is not relevant anymore okay let's test this again and yeah, uh, here we have uh, eprimer is logged in successfully, right? Since uh, here it is uh, true, and if we make it to false, we have eprimer is not logged in, unfortunately. So that's it, guys, for this tutorial. Here you have uh, a simple, uh, let me scroll back. Here you have a simple uh, DI container class that you can use to register and uh, retrieve your services. The thing to be aware of is that uh, you need to register first your services before uh, using them. Otherwise, you'll have here uh, an error. I hope that you found this tutorial useful. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel and help it to grow. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.